Ahoy hoy everyone, Craig here at Magic Kingdom and today I'm going to do something a little bit different versus what I normally do with my vlogs here on the Diz and that is I'm going to share three different park benches with you today here at Magic Kingdom. So uh, before we turned the Diz into more of a, a vlogging channel from the parks and resorts and and beyond, this channel was a lot of overviews, ride-throughs, uh, park benches, like I just mentioned. And because of that, uh, we've changed to the vlogging style format. A lot of those have really taken a back seat. And of course, we'll still do them from time to time, like when a new ride or, or hotel or anything opens up and we have to cover it in that way. But for the most part, we wanna, we wanna keep it more personality-centric than anything else. But I know sometimes people just want to get a taste of what it's like being in the parks without commentary on absolutely everything. And I totally understand that because I'm the same way too. So I decided to blend the both in this case. I'm going to do three uninterrupted park benches back to back to back. And then I'll give some commentary, things that I spotted while I was filming them. Just little random tidbits. But... We'll see if it works. We'll see if you enjoy it. If it's any fun to watch at all. I don't know if it's going to be because I haven't even filmed it yet. And so it could end up being disastrous, but we'll just have to wait and see how it actually comes out. And yeah, we'll, we'll go on from there. So with no further interruptions, let's go ahead and take five minutes to relax it. Well, five minutes in three different places and relax and enjoy Magic Kingdom.
For the health and safety of everyone, face coverings must fully cover your nose and mouth and be worn at all times, except for the actual needs for treatment of all exposure. Guests who do not comply will be as a tool. Wash your hands often and thoroughly. Cover your mouth and nose with coughing and sneezing and maintain the
And those are the three Disney park benches that I did today. I hope you enjoyed them and it was a little bit peaceful. Uh, to recap, of course, the first one was a silhouette view of Cinderella Castle from, from Liberty Square, right once you're past the bridge. And that was, that was a beautiful shot. It's one that I wanted to do for a long time and I always just forget about it. I feel like I always gravitate towards Cinderella Castle shots. So I just, I forget. I forget to do it because I'm like, nope, I already have enough. I don't need to do more. And this was a nice one. When I set up to do it, there was a lot of people moving up and down the, the pathway, getting new to Fantasyland. And then of course, once I started rolling, barely anyone actually was moving up and down. So it wasn't the most interesting, but just a, a serene sight. The sun was hitting Cinderella Castle very nicely. And then, you know, it seeing people off in the distance go up through the castle. I, I love that as well too. And then for the next uh, shot, that was of course in the courtyard in front of Gaston's Tavern in New Fantasyland. And yeah, there wasn't a lot to really say about that. That wasn't my number one choice that I wanted to do uh, for, for this one. I was set up in front of the carousel in front of the Sword in the Stone and it just, too many people were coming once I set my camera up. No one was there of course before. And then once I was there, then it was flooded with people constantly and it just didn't look good. So maybe I'll release it on, on Patreon as an exclusive video there, but for the inclusion here, it just, it didn't work. So I scrapped that and then kind of walked around and I was like, I don't think I've done Gaston's Tavern in a long time if I've ever done it. So that's why I threw it in there and hey, it is what it is. But finally the Tomorrowland shot, this was one that I've wanted to do again for a while. I did originally do this shot like back in 2013. It was with an old HD 1080 camera. So, you know, the just doing it 4K, the, the quality is so upgraded. And then of course the entrance has been upgraded as well too. Since then, uh, they, they did the revitalization of the entrance, making it more sleek and just like stripping away all of the weird futuristic side to it that is still up on Astro Orbiter right behind me. So I needed to do it because this area has been updated and then it's just, you know, I want to I want to get it in the best quality as possible. And I thought thought this one went well. And then to put this into context for time purposes, uh, the people mover is running behind me right now. And that's a big deal because it is still not open. It is in the testing phase to get it reopened. But uh, as far as I know, it's, um, you know, when this video is released, as far as I know, it still hasn't reopened, but maybe we'll be lucky because I'm doing this video probably about a week out before I actually release it. So who knows what'll happen? It might be reopened and I just look insane for getting excited over empty people mover vehicles moving around on the track. But uh, it is exciting and I like the kinetics moving with Tomorrowland with the people mover moving and Astro Orbiter I think was circling for a little while and then lots of people coming and going. Just Overall, I really like how it turned out. So those are the three park benches and hopefully I remember in the description to put like timestamps to each so you can just like watch them by themselves like you normally would in the past separately. But uh, yeah, overall, I hope you really enjoyed this. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up on this video and make sure you are subscribed to the channel and then leave me comments about other things you might wanna see from the parks, other park bench ideas that you you might want to you want might want to check out and uh, we'll just we'll keep going from there and of course if you're planning an upcoming disney vacation please use dreams unlimited travel the agents can help you plan the perfect disney vacation you can get a free no obligation quote today and they will work their best to make sure you have the perfect vacation save you as much money as possible and make those memories magical so thank you to everyone for watching this i hope you did enjoy it i'll see you again real soon with another one, but until then, bye-bye.